<laughs> Hello and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. Today we're going to be working again, well not again actually, this is a first first for this book, but we're going to be working with my, my mini chef here, uh, my son, who is eight by the way, and we're going to be working from the Complete Baking Book for Young Chefs. Six. Uh, it's an America's Test Kitchen cookbook, and it's pretty good for kids. And in fact, um, we've cooked from this a little bit before already, and mm -hmm. we like it. And we cooked from another book. Do I yes. have it here? Ooh, yes, I do. Right, right. here. The, the first recipe we made with this little guy was, uh, not so little guy, was from the Minecrafters cookbook, but we're using a different cookbook this time. These are two books that he has that we like. Um, we've got another one too, but we haven't, we have got another America's Test Kitchen book, but we haven't, uh, done any of that on this show yet. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But he's been wanting to make soft pretzels and there's a recipe in here. Um, so mm -hmm. that's what we're going to be doing. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So what do we do first? We, for the dough in a bowl of standard mixer with together flour, yeast, and kosher salt. Right, so we've got our stand mixer and we've got our dough attachment on here already because that's what we're gonna need. But first, a little stuff out of our bowl. Um, we're gonna combine those ingredients with just a whisk, which we're gonna use mm -hmm. again first. So what do we put in here? Flour. This is bread flour, uh -huh. which we measured by weight. But we measured this by weight instead of by volume, so. Salt and... And so this is kosher salt. Mm -hmm. This is my standard diamond crystal kosher salt. Let me have that. And then that is... Uh, yeast. It calls for rapid rise or instant. instant or rapid rise yeast. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so this is whatever we had. This is what we use all the time. Uh -huh. I think it's instant. I'm not sure. And we're going to whisk that. Mm -hmm. I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here because I think that's what we're gonna need that for next. But mm -hmm. what do we do next? Uh, in in four cup liquid measuring cup. I've got that right here. Whisk together oil, brown sugar, and water until brown sugar has dissolved. All right, so we have our water here that we measured. Mm -hmm. And it is room temperature, so you want it, you know, a little on the warm side, definitely not cold. Mm -hmm. So we got that in there. And then we put this in here, the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Put it up. Which we have already mm -hmm. um, it measured. It calls for, uh, what was it again? Packed. So packed. packed brown sugar, that's what you usually do with brown sugar. And I'm gonna measure out this just because it's a really large bottle. We needed a little bit of oil. vegetable oil, which I use um, grapeseed oil generally. And we mix it together. Yep, and you whisk it and you're using the whisk. And until brown sugar has the salt. So the good thing about this is we only have to use one whisk because we whisk the dry ingredients first and then we can just whisk the, rest, the wet ingredients using the same list. And now what do we do? Mix until what? Uh start mix start mixer on low speed and slowly pour water mixture. Mix until not until no dry flour is visible, about two minutes. Increase right. speed to medium when ne and knead dough for eight minutes. Stop mixer. All right, so, excuse the pup outside. She's probably barking at a neighbor. So we're gonna turn it on low, which on ours says stir. And then we're gonna slowly add that. Ooh, heavy. Oh, 
Yeah, there's some different ingredients we need after the pretzels are all shaped and everything, but we don't need that right now, so mm -hmm. we're not gonna bother. Talking about that right this minute. We could sort of get all that all into a ball with our hands a little bit if we're a little concerned. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That good? Mm -hmm. All right. I also like to do dough, so I'm also good with that. Yes. Now here's a here's a tip when you're you. When you are kneading dough in a mixer, you really want to lock it because otherwise it can go flying. So. That was our eight minute timer. So now, oh look, it all came cleanly off of the dough hook. That's nice. I'm gonna take this off. How many balls do we have in there? About two. About two balls in there. We're gonna take this off. There we go. Just put that right there. Move the mixer out of our way. Now we take it out. Now, transfer dough to clean counter and use your hands to knead dough for 30 seconds. Then form dough into, sm into a smooth ball. See photos 61. Hey. And your hands are clean, right? And like I said, I have dealt with dough. Yep, he and his dad think make bread together quite a bit. He's the helper. He's the one who likes to cook. My sister does not. Snow, my son is snow. To let it go, you need to let it go. To the eye, to the nose. Uh -huh. And if there are any bread masters telling me how to need, this is how I remember. Trying to roast me. <laughs> Alright, let me show you how I do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. I think you use your, the heel of your foot hand to, to push it away from you. Oh, like that. Because we're trying to develop the gluten. You get, it takes a lot to knead. All right. And then it says, turn it into a ball. You want me to turn it into a ball or are you going to turn it into a ball? I want to turn it let me, into a ball. Let me knead it a little bit. It's at about 30 seconds, so. I know. There we go. That's I don't pretty know good. why you have to develop the gluten. Well, that's what makes bread chewy. But what if you don't want chewy bread? What if you want nice and... Just bite through and gnaw on it, like um, a, pr a hard pretzel. All right, so then you can, let's, let's see, let me show you. You can do it like that and that'll help get, push this together, mm -hmm. make it more of a Now ball. you're making it look like a Chinese food. <laughs> yes, but then you, Roll it like that, see? Mm -hmm. And then you fix the cracks that your mother made. Whatever. So this is just the first step. It doesn't really matter what it looks like right now. We're just making it a little ball. Um, so in the recipe, they tell you to spray this with non-stick -cook, non cooking spray. We don't keep that in the house. So I just put a little bit of our vegetable oil in here. Basically does the same thing. Yeah, and we're just using a pastry brush to make sure our bowl is covered. This will keep the dough from sticking to the bowl. 
There we go. And now we have our ball. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't want any crabs in my pretzels. It's fine, it's do fine. You? We got a lot to do after this. So we're gonna put this in our bowl. In our bowl. And we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap. And we're gonna, we don't need it right this second. We don't have to show them doing it. We're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and we have to let it sit in a warm place, not too warm, uh, until it is doubled, till it's twice this size. And how long does that say? Uh, one and a half hours. An hour to an hour and a half, right? Mm -hmm. So we will see you when this is doubled and let you know how long it takes. Okay, so uh, our dough is ready. It's mm -hmm. been a little over two hours at this point. It's kind of cool in here, but got some bubbles going on. That I want to pop. We're definitely doubled in size. We've turned the oven on and it's heated to? 425 degrees. 425, rack in the middle. And we've prepared a baking tray with foil. Vegetable, foil, vegetable oil, and a baking sheet. Right, and we, and we put a, put this rack on it. Mm -hmm. And since we don't have the vegetable oil spray stuff, we just uh, used Basically. our brush and some Basically. vegetable oil. So I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Mm-hmm. And, and we don't need this, this right this second. What do we do with this? Let's see. Uh-huh. So we need some water. How much? That we need in a small microwave safe bowl. Normally pretzels are boiled before you bake them, kind of like a bagel, um, in a solution usually with lye, as far as I can tell, food grade lye. Um, we're not doing that. You can also boil them with um, a baking soda solution. Instead, we're going to paint them with baking soda. But what we're gonna do now is Just pour water into the baking combine soda. Combine the water and baking soda into a microwave safe bowl that is just a little something in there. Get that out, there we go. That's almost too much, but we're going to um, put this in the, heat it in the microwave until it, uh, for one to two minutes until it's clear, until the baking soda is all dissolved. We're gonna, gonna put this on our, on our clean counter. And then I'm gonna pop the bubbles. And yes, you can pop the bubbles. Pop. And we're supposed to pat and stretch it into a six inch square. All and right. pop the bubbles. So. We're gonna keep our plastic wrap because we're gonna need it in a little bit. Pop. Hey, pop. All right. You don't All right. need to pull it apart. Well, that's the only way to so, pop it. pat, pat, pat. I wanna do this. We're trying to make a square. Can we, can you make a square? Mm -hmm. Six inch square. So six inch square is kind of Kind of like that, both directions. So we need to just kind of pull it apart and squish it that way. And then round it. No, well, make it square. And then, all right. That's sort of a square. Don't matter. And then we roll it until no, we're not six gonna roll inches. It. We're not gonna roll it. This is six inches. We're just patting it into a six inch square. Mm -hmm. This and is approximately six inches. My hand from here to here is about six inches. So that's a good, good. We're supposed to cut this into six equal one inch wide strips. So I'm trying to make sure that we're kind of equal. No, no part is too thick or too thin so that all of our strips will be pretty the same. much the same. And these make six pretzels. Six pretzels. So we're Cutting this into six strips. So I'm you want to cut it in half? Mm -hmm. Cut it in half first. I don't know. 
Look, we're cutting it into about half, see? Uh-huh, and then- And then we cut these pieces into three. Uh-huh. Huh? We're making, we're making six. six. Push it down until it cuts. All right. I can't make parallel lines. Okay. One of them's gonna be very small. Don't don't worry. We'll give that one to Truffle. <laughs> and then All right. So we're gonna cut a little bit off of this one. Sure. Just got extra. We'll deal and with can this I eat one that? First. No! We're trying to make this one a, a normal size one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna put these over here. So now we're gonna cover the ones we're not working with with the plastic wrap just so they don't dry out. And this one. We're gonna work. Yes, so what I have done is measured 22 inches and from this side to this side of the tape, I put little tape markers down so that I know how long my pretzel needs to be. So we're supposed to roll this into a 22 inch long, I think you got long rope. Don't worry, it kinda, it will uh, shrink back a little bit too. So you don't have to worry about it if you get a little bit too long. All right. This is there almost go. there. And he and we're trying to make it in the picture relatively a ru ruler. They used a ruler and I, I used, you know, a measuring tape to measure this. And now And now I get to do this part. You gonna do this part? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do the first one and then you can do the rest? No. The yes. No, I should do the first one to show you my moves. Thanks. No, well, let me, I've done it before. I've made pretzels one other time before. That was like 20 days ago. There's still a, there was still a bubble in that. Anyway, so. Rude Miss Bubble. Make it a, a U facing away from you. And, and then, then twist it. You pull this up and you twist it twice. And then you pull it down. You pull it down and press them in together. So there is one, one pet pretzel. pretzel. My turn. And now I think I put it on the, the baking rest. sheet on on our baking sheet. Push it in there. This one's gonna be a bit lopsided. And you can. So now we have our water and baking soda mixture that kind of overflowed, boiled over in the microwave, but that's okay. It'll come up pretty well with just a wet cloth. Um, that we're going to use a uh, pastry brush and paint the tops and sides with this. Anything left over you don't need to keep, but uh, so you can paint them pretty liberally. This will help them get that really brown um, shine. Shine. Do you want to? I was gonna let you do some. Do some. So ours are a little different. Some are that one's pretty small, and anyway, they'll be fine. They'll still taste delicious. 
doesn't what matter what it looks like, it matters what it tastes like. But you still want to have good plating if you're a master chef. Then are you gonna sprinkle them with that salt? Yep, and now we have a little bit of pretzel salt. Um, we don't like all, too much of this salt, but mm -hmm. you wanna sprinkle it? Mm -hmm. You just wanna sprinkle that? We've measured it out, but it will stick on it because it's kind of damp now because we painted it with the water mixture. Last ones we made were a bit over salted. They they did end up a little end up a little over salted, but I think we used more salt than this even on those ones. So there I would let's see. Let me just make sure we have a little bit of salt sort of everywhere. It does a lot of it falls off, but oh well. You know, machines do it a lot better. Yeah, 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 you keep saying that. So, these go in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. You want them to be very, very deep golden brown. So, we put them in our 425 degree oven. I just want to see what it tastes like. It's just salt. Echo, set a timer for 10 minutes. Oh, that is very salty. Starting now. Yes. So one more thing we need to do now is we need to melt some butter. We're gonna melt some unsalted butter. And when our pretzels are done, we're going to butter them. We're gonna paint them just like we did with the water. We're gonna paint them with melted butter. So mm -hmm. we'll show you when they're all done, how we do that. Okay, these just came out of the oven. We cooked them for 12 minutes. You can definitely tell um, where hot. we got, well, they're very hot, where we got uh, the baking soda mixture pretty well and where we didn't because those areas, the areas that we did hit really well are pretty brown and then some areas are not brown at all, but I'm pretty sure they're done. This one closed up a lot. Anyway, not bad for a first try, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So we've got melted, unsalted butter. butter. And do you want to paint them? Yes. Let's uh, move it there so we don't get butter all over the place. And somehow I managed to. Yeah, you're my son. So these will be buttery pretzels. She which... said it here, folks. I'm her son. <laughs> well, we all knew that. There we go. We're gonna let these cool for a few minutes. So we're gonna taste them and we'll be back to let you know what we think. Mm-hmm. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched us make soft pretzels from the America's Test Kitchen book, the complete baking book for young chefs, for with my young chef right here. And, uh, to be fair, to be entirely truthful, we forgot to film this right afterwards, so I'm not sure we remember a whole lot about these, but what do you remember? I remember that we didn't put as much salt on these as you, as we did on your, your pretzels. Right, so I made pretzels before this and with a different method, and somebody thought they were way too salty. They were. So we used less salt, I think, than they said here, which was better, right? Yeah. Um, this used a much more kid-friendly uh, version of the baking soda. Uh, usually you boil the pretzels in baking soda, and that can be a little bit difficult for, you know, a little bit hazardous for a younger chef, right? So, so this one, we just brushed it with a baking soda and water mixture. 
which I think we didn't do a great job of getting all of the areas brushed because that's what helps you get the really, really brown pretzel uh, color and flavor. Uh, so we didn't do a great job with that. So I think the boiling is better, but this is actually fine for the younger chefs, but just be a little bit more careful to get it all over the pretzel. Um, that's oh, probably better. What's that stuff? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people eat pretzels with mustard. So that's probably what that is. Ew. Maybe honey mustard. Um, but we found it relatively easy, right? It wasn't too hard. Shaping them takes a little practice. Right? It was a little, little bit difficult to get the shape right. But once you do, it, it gets easier. And so if you make these more often, they'd be pretty easy. And they were pretty good. They tasted, they were a little bit more bready than pretzely, but it was still really good. So, in my opinion, what do you think? Um, well, I think that. Can you face? I feel like we. I feel like everyone should enjoy the pretzels as much as everyone else. Okay. So I feel like I agree with you. Okay. Did you did you enjoy the pretzels? Yes. Very much. We really like soft pretzels around here, don't we? Yes. Is that it? Yep. All right. So if you enjoyed watching us make this, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And come back and watch some and so, watch something else next week. That's right. Hopefully, we'll get a little, a few more of these out now because we have several that we've filmed. We just have an editing backlog. So we'll see you soon.